Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Let's get going. All right. Very sorry. Very sorry to the virtual audience. Like, I was only informed basically like halfway through this whole thing. <laughs> so we're going to start over quickly because now we've got a little bit of a time crunch. Um, so welcome again, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for coming in person and virtually. Uh, I was mentioning we have a, a, a fairly high number of virtual registrants. I think like 80 or 90 percent of our audience is virtual. Um, but for those who were comfortable and able to make it in person, it's great to see you all. Thank you for coming. Um, reminder of the code of conduct for today, please be kind and respectful. This is not something that we usually have a problem with in the uh, Spiffy Inspire community, but it, it bears repeating, especially at KubeCon. Uh, not that anything's wrong with KubeCon, but you know, obviously the code of conduct here is strictly enforced. Uh, and also, thank you. I got a few rounds of thank yous here. Thank you to uh, our, our sponsors today. We wouldn't be here without you. Both of these companies put their money where their mouth is, and they, they believe in Spiffy Spire and they put this product to their customers. Uh, and it's important for them, and, it's, and, and their support is really important for us. Uh, so we really, really thank both HP and F5 for their support today. Uh, and also thank you to the program committee who made today happen. There was a lot of work to, to make today happen. There was months and months of calls. Um, you know, the CFP process, talk selection, uh, show flow, all of that stuff. Um, team of volunteers from the Spiffy Spire community you're looking at here. This was a working group uh, spun off of our SIG community group specifically for this event. Uh, so thank you very much to all of you, uh, some of you here in person, which I'm very pleased to see. And finally, thank you to our CNCF liaisons, Emily and Rachel. They have been awesome. They have been with us every step of the way. They have just sorted out our audio issue <laughs> on the virtual platform. So they are extra, extra important. Thank you for all of your help and for being here for us. Uh, you can follow along today's conversation on Twitter and also the CNCF Slack. There are some hashtags here for your enjoyment and a Slack channel. And uh, there's also a Spiffy Slack. There, there'll be a link here in a minute for that. Uh, so I think one of the overall kinds of things that is, that is really kind of driving this upwelling in the Spiffy Spire project today uh, is kind of like all of these things occurring in the industry that all hi really highlight a need for, for workload identity. Um, like showing and communicating and espousing the need for workload identity is something that we've that we've had a hard time with historically um, because it's a problem that a, a lot of people have not may, maybe not have seen firsthand or not have realized that they have uh, so there's been a lot of education and i think that you know the the industry trends um high level industry trends like zero trust and supply chain security and all of these things when you start looking at them closely you realize how important workload identity is to do this effectively um, really not possible to do a lot of this stuff without it. Uh, and so I think, you know, our job is getting easier and easier as time goes on and the industry evolves uh, to, to, to showing folks why this is so important. We've had tremendous velocity over the last year. Uh, Spire's had eight releases, including its 1.0 release. The Spire team strives really hard to, to release on about a monthly cadence. So it's awesome to see that we had 11 releases in the last year. It means like we're, we're about there. Uh, anecdotally speaking, I think we're we're probably at like a five week or just like just just over one month uh, release cadence. But uh, the maintainers uh, and team working on this fire project push really, really hard to, to, to keep that cadence and keep the software going and the releases uh, uh, consistent and, and frequent. So that is like a, a, a no small feat. Really good. Y'all deserve a pat on the back for that. Uh, and we also have up to 1,200, over 1,200 Spiffy Slack members. That's 37 percent, almost 40 percent increase year over year. And, and before the audio thing, I, I had reminded the folks here that I think on KubeCon Europe, we were right around 1,000 or we broke 1,000 people on Slack. So in just that time since in March to now, uh, we've seen 20% increase in, in the Slack members just in, on the inside of this year. Um, so we we're, we're, have some pretty strong growth there. We also have really great growth on a contributor. Uh, I was really pleased to see this slide. Uh, we've had almost 50% increase in the number of contributors to Spiffy Spire over the last year. That is huge. Contributors are like one of the number one things, top one or two things that make this project go. You know, open source project does nothing without contributors. So this is really, really, really important metric. Uh, and so similarly, the commit velocity is, is really strong. 30% um, of the commits in the Spire code base have come from the last year. So I think that that's a pretty powerful thing. It shows that the development is really strong and, and the code turn is really strong and, and the project is super duper healthy. Uh, all of these stats come from a new CNCF tool. I don't remember the name um, that, that uh, we've screenshotted for these graphs. 
So the project is doing great, and we're very, very happy to kind of kick this day off. We have a lot for you today. It's a super, super busy day. Uh, so you can see the agenda is kind of an eye chart. Um, but there's a lot of really exciting stuff, and, and, and I, I cannot wait to get this kicked off. We have some amazing keynotes for you all, and then we're going to do some project updates. And we're going to try our best with this virtual hybrid uh, format. So if you if you stick with us throughout the day, please uh, give us a little leeway. Obviously, we, we've had one problem already, so I'm, I'm sure there will be more. Um, you know, so so we'll try our best. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure we'll get there. Anyways, without further ado, I'll just leave these so that y'all can see. Uh, the website, there's the Google group you can join, Slack channel, and, and of course our GitHub repo. Uh, please jump in there, uh, say hello throughout the course of the day, we'll be there. And uh, I'll pass it off now to Sunil for our, our first keynote. <laughs>